Hello everyone. Hope all are doing good. Welcome to my channel Under Max Max Made Easy. And as of now, we have seen uh, in this chapter exponents and powers uh, exercise 4.2 and the third problem up to fourth solution we have seen I think. Uh, and today we are going to see uh, the fourth problem and solution number. Okay, that is expressing the following uh, as a product of factors in um, prime factors. That is prime factors in exponential form. We are going to solve the problem. Okay, so the third problem is 729 is multiplied by 3125. 3125. So first of all, we are going to um, L divide by prime number 3 because the ending number is an odd number so being an odd number we can try with uh, odd number 3 ok so dividing by 3 I will get 2, 2, 2, 2 3's are 6 and 12 will be here 4 2's are 12 and 3 3's are 9 so again we can try by number 3 so 8 3's are 20 4 right so 81 again if I divide by 3 I will get 2 3's are 6 and 7 3's are 21 again by 3 9 3's are 27 again by 3 3 3's are 9 and by 3 get 1 so 729 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 4 5 6 times 3 into 3 into 3 that is base all are equal so I can write this as 3 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 to the power 6 if I multiply uh, 6 times 3 I will get 729 next we will take 3125 3 1 2 5 so again the last number is an odd number so we will divided by 5 so 6 3's are 6 5's are 30 12 will be here so 2 5's are 10 again uh, 5 5's are 25 okay. so again by 5 1 5 is 5 12 2 5's are 10 5 5's are 25 again by 5 2 5's are 10 5 5's are 25 and by 5 5 times and by 5 I will get 1 time so 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 is multiply by 5 times so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i can write this as 5 to the power 5 okay so now i can write this as 729 into 3125 is equal to 3 to the power 6 multiplied by 5 to the power 5 this is a answer understand you next fourth subdivision Fourth the subdivision is they are given as 5000. 5000 is a problem. So we can divide it by the prime number 5. So I will get 1000. Again by 5 I will get 200. Again by 5 I will get 40. Again by 5 I will get 8 and it won't go in 5 I will take 2 prime number if I divide I will get 4 and I will divide by 2 get 1 so 5000 is equal to 5 is multiplied by 4 4 times 5 2 3 4 times and 2 is multiplied by 1 2 3 times 1 2 and 3 right so with the base 5 I am having 4 times 5 is repeated here so I can write this as 5 to the power 4 and with the base 2 it is repeated for 3 times so I can write this as 1 2 and 3 ok so this is our answer ok children next we will uh, see the fifth problem next we will see the fifth problem find the value of x in each of the following exponential 
expression what is exponential expression if they have given a, with the base uh, a number or power then it is called as exponential expression here it is 2 power x is the exponential expression uh, the first problem is 2 power x is equal to 64 see uh, it is not in the base so it is in the uh, power the x is given in the power so what you have to do is uh, we have to reduce this uh, number in the right hand side you have given us 64 so we have to reduce it in, in, into, the, into the same base as in the left hand side that is we have to uh, divided the 64 number by 2 and we have to write it in the form of exponential notation with the base of 2 as in this in the left hand side okay so i am going to divide the 64 by 2 i'll get 32 and if i again divide by 2 i'll get uh, 1 and 6 so 16 and again by 2 i'll get 8 and again by 2 I will get 4 by 2 I will get 2 again by 2 I will get 1. So, how many times we are getting 64 by dividing this 2? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 2 to the power 6. If I divide, uh, multiply 2 by 6 times, I will get this 64. See, 2 power x is equal to 2 power 6 we can write, right? So, if the bases are same, then we can equate this powers uh, x is equal to 6. So, our answer is x is equal to 6. That is, if uh, x is equal to 6, then I will get 2 power 6 is equal to 64, right? So, we are multiplying this 2 for 6 times. Then only we are getting this 64 number. So, if x is 6, then 2 power x is equal to 64 we will get. Okay, do you understand children? Next problem, second subdivision. 2 power x is divided by 2 power 3 is equal to 2 to the power 5. So, here uh, two expressions are given in the left hand side. So, first of all, uh, we will write this 2 power x divided by 2 power 3 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 5. We do not need uh, 2 power 3 in the left hand side because we want only this x to be in the left hand side. So, we will keep this 2 power x here and we will bring this 2 power 3 to the other side. Okay. So, then what will happen then? So, 2 power x is equal to 2 power 5 is here. If it is in the division form, when it we will bring it to the other side, it will uh, change it into multiplication form. So, 2 power uh, 5 into 2 power 3 we will get. right? So, 2 power x is equal to uh, by the law a power m into a power n I can write this as a power m plus n right so by using this law I can write this as 2 power 5 plus 3 which is equal to 2 power x is equal to 2 power 8 so if 2 power x is equal to 2 power 8 then x will be what 8 so our answer is x is equal to 8 you understand children x will move on to the third subdivision third subdivision 3 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power 2 see if 3 power x is equal to 9 to the power 2 see here the bases are not equal so we have to reduce this uh, 9 to the base of 3 so if I divide this 9 by 3 I will get 3 to the power 2 that is 3 is multiplied for 2 times then we will get 9. So, I am uh, bringing this 9 to the base of 3. So, I will get 3 to the power 2 for 9 and already 1 power 2 is here. So, we have to write it over there. So, 3 power 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 2 the whole to the power 2. By, uh, by the law a to the power m the whole power n you know a to the power m into n that is m is multiplied by n. So, I will get 3 to the power 2 into 2 that is 3 to the power 4. So, 3 power x is equal to 3 to the power 4 then x is equal to 4 is the answer right. See we have uh, what this uh, base as 3. So, 3 to the power x is equal to you are getting 3 to the power 4 then our answer is 4 ok. Next fourth problem. 
2 to the power 3 into minus 3 whole to the power 3 is equal to minus 6 whole to the power x. See the bases are not equal uh, to both sides. LH is also not equal and uh, in the RH is also that is right hand side also the base is not equal as in the left hand side. Three bases are different. So here we have to use the another uh, law. What is that law says? If a to the power m into b to the power n sorry uh, b to the power m then we can write this as a b to the whole power m. Do you remember this? This law if a to the power m that is if the bases are not equal but the exponents are same then we can multiply the bases and we can write the same exponent in the answer. Okay. So, we are going to use this law here that is 2 to the power 3 into minus 3 whole to the power 3 is equal to minus 6 to the power x. See in the left hand side bases are not equal. So, I am going to multiply uh, by this law that is 2 into minus 3 and the exponent are equal that is 3 that is the law says no. So, if the bases are not equal but if the exponents are same then we can multiply the bases. So, we will get minus 6 to the power 3 which is equal to minus 6 to the power whole power x right. So, now we are getting the same bases on both sides. So, what is our answer? x is equal to 3 is our answer. So, it seems to be very difficult but if you use the law you will get the answer very easily. Okay children, I think you all uh, understand all the problems in this uh, fourth subdivision. Next we will move on to the, sorry I have finished up to fifth, fifth problem, fourth subdivision right. So, next we will uh, see the sixth, sixth problem in the next session. So, I am going to conclude this uh, with, with this uh, problem. Um, if you have any doubt in this uh, session, you can comment me in the comment. Don't forget to share our channel to your friends also. Take care.